everybody, welcome to Dad Challenge Podcast. Thanks for joining me. You're amazing and amazing and super hot and just beautiful. Glowing, glowing with beauty or whatever. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today, I, I was recording these just at the beginning of the week. I just found a bunch of videos I wanted to snark on. JD Vlogs is back. They've got a video called Addressing Assumptions. These people are just ill. And I love snarking them. So let's continue to snark on JD. Like, again, using initials of like first names and shit like that, you can kiss my ass. Let's go. So we left off. I don't know where we left off with these people. I think they had beef with. Is it. The other ones? What the hell are the other ones that were like uh, totally getting scammed and they knew they were getting scammed and then they... What the hell is the name? Another like stupid name. What the hell is the name? Della. Della Vlogs. Those assholes. So they've got beef with Della Vlogs and apparently they're bigger than Della Vlogs but they're doing the same thing. Della Vlogs is probably super jealous of their pregnancy. Probably all that kind of shit. It's all pettiness. But these people have no business being parents right now. They are so bad at everything, and they said that they are going to exploit their children, and apparently in this video someone sent me, they said they they have another way of justifying it. So let's take a look and snark on these a-holes. These vapid excuses of a-holes. Cool. Also, I think they found out he was a fighter or something? I don't know. Today we're going to be reacting about assumptions. That's... Grammatically incorrect. And see what you guys think and either confirm that it's true or debunk it. Did he lose in a fight and then propose to his girlfriend? Cool. <laughs> That's gross. Welcome back to your cup of tea podcast. <laughs> your cup of tea. <laughs> you get it? It's like a cup of tea, but it's couple. They are a couple teas. Turds. They are a couple of turds is what they are. Burn! Your boy Josh. And it's your girl. Don't ever say that if you're going to be an adult. It's your boy Josh. It's your boy JD. Yo, it's your girl J Jess. Don't. Don't do this, okay? That's like early 2000s shit. Don't say that. You are now banned. And you guys had the wildest assumptions about us. I mean, I've seen comments. Here's an assumption. Get a different haircut. It's not an assumption, but do it. It's that are like pretty wild sometimes, but for the most part. Okay, the gate on her microphone is way too high, bro. I feel like you guys yeah. are pretty accurate because, I mean, we show so much of our lives on social media, so I feel like... What are you wearing? Did you raid Jess Fam's closet or something? What are you wearing? They have a good idea. Yeah, but like... The Looks like you... Okay, I just watched Despic Despicable Me 3, which of all the Despicable Me's is clearly the winner, the best one. Remember when they bubble gum and he had the bubble gum underwear? That's what the fuck he's wearing. There's so many just assumptions, and I feel like a lot of them I had to get my total pump in before I did this. I did a couple push-ups. I did a couple lightweight rips and stuff. I gotta make the vein pop. I totally just... I'm not... I'm thirsty. I gotta look really good because it's your boy Josh. Right? Crazy. Bruh. Yeah, I mean, they're assuming stuff about our sex life. Oh, jeez. So don't answer it. Um, don't answer friendships, it. Friendships, our YouTube life, finances. our money, our finances, our relationship. I'm like, y'all really... do Y'all, it's your boy. You guys actually think this or is okay, it wait. just trying to give a juicy I, assumption? Before we get into what they said, I remember there was like a couple things that were said a long time ago, which I always thought was so funny. One of the biggest assumptions I feel like everyone always thought about you. Oh, this shit. Is that you're a douchebag? And you skip leg day? It's yeah. because you were an MMA fighter that you were like an abusive boyfriend. Bro, I... I mean... Fighters generally have like really super high testosterone and there is... I know it's a stereograph... I know stereograph. I know it's a stereotype, but that seems to be where that goes. Just saying. Mike Tyson, lots of others, fighters. Yeah, it really does seem to be that way. Not everybody, mind you, but those guys fight for a living. Okay, super high testosterone levels. So that's probably why, but that's that's a good assumption. <laughs> it's so swear. funny to me because you, like, yeah. why is it funny to you? Shouldn't be funny. You should say, hey, look, maybe you should address this inside the fight community that it's actually true that this happens a lot. Not here, mind you, but you're right. That's something that the fight community needs to work on. Someone was like, oh, Josh is abusive, like low key or something like that. I'm like, 
I'm a ten. Nah, he's a pushover. He bear. Which I love because like I agree. Josh is a pushover. She wears the pants. He he she says jump. He says how high. She says you skip leg day. He's like, damn it. Like it's so it's so funny because if only they knew you, you were like the softest, sweetest. Like like even if you call You're such a pussy. If they just knew how big of a pussy you were, they wouldn't say that. <laughs> he's like, yo, that's that hurts my feelings. I mean, like if you were like you're a bitch, like I would be that would be I weird. would be like caught oh, that's what you just said. I didn't say you said it. Off guard. Well, like, you are so not aggressive with your words. You're not aggressive with your yeah. body language. I was going like, to say. I've I, never feared you in I my life. Like I mean, you don't even have pubes yet. So, I mean, your balls haven't dropped. So, I get it. Maybe when that stuff happens, maybe when he goes through puberty, he'll be different. I think I'm not. Fear me. I think you fear me more. <laughs> I, feel like I do. I feel like I've never been. Like, I'm not hot headed. No. Or like short tempered. So This, again, he speaks like he's got hit in the head. Way too many times, man. Like, way too many times. Oh, and Which, I've been in one street fight in my life. And you were like... Me too. No. Yeah, one. I've been in a couple hockey fights. It's not really the same thing. Yeah, I don't get a lot of fights. But you should know how to fight. Like, if you're a human, especially a dad or a guy, you should know the basics of fighting. Okay. Fighting is just to protect yourself, to protect your family. You should know how to fight. You shouldn't be looking for fights. But if a fight finds you, you should be willing to do what you got to do. So for all those dudes out there who think it's just like, oh, it's okay. Learn to protect yourself. Self-defense is a huge confidence booster, too. A little. So like, is it even a street such a fight? Stupid situation. Is it even a street fight if you're like 10? Yeah. Still a street fight. I was a... I was a 12? In 11th grade. Were you? Yeah. Oh, my little bad boy. That's like, <laughs> Shut up. He's 16. You know, no, but I fought I, my okay. best friend at the time. That is something, though, like, really quick, I just love about you so much, is that you aren't a hothead, because, like, you, I feel like you are so strong, and you could totally, like, beat up so many guys, but you're just... Fuck <laughs> those legs. It's, like, so quick to... I'm, I'm honestly a lover, not a fighter. Like, yeah, like, you... You, you literally fight for a living, bro. So, No. Do you get in the fight ring and just make, make out with the guys or something? What do you do? No, you fight. You train and you fight. You're a fighter. Stupid. You're Even a when I fought MMA, I was like, I fight MMA or I, I do the boxing, jiu-jitsu, wrestling. I did all that because I like the sport aspect of it. Yeah. I like the mano y mano, like 1v1. So you like fighting then, dick? An aspect of it, like, and really it's you versus you at the end of the you day. You are your dad's son, like 100%. Chest, You're a lover. <laughs> match of the sport, not the, like, I want to break you. Then why fight? Because there are other sports where you don't have to break people's faces. You're dumb for saying this, just so you know. I don't know if you're looking for that type of thing, but you, you're done. Now that does come with the sport, and like that is kind of really the. Imagine then they ordered their JD vlogs light. They're like, Are you mean to say Katie? No, no, it's JD. See, it's Josh. He gets one letter of the thing, but Katie. I get all the letters, but we replace the first with J. JD, get it? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, totally got it. Yeah, I'll make that for you right away. Cool. Um, but at the end of the day, like you always hope no one gets hurt, but. I'm a lover. Did you just say at the end of the day, while you're fighting professionally, you hope no one gets hurt when it's literally your job to hurt people? Okay. Not a fighter. I'm a teddy bear. You really are, though, because like I just feel like in any situation, I remember a lot of my family members always said this about you. Teddy bear in brain only. When they first met you, they were like, Josh like just diffuses any like family fight. Who or likes to fight like or be in a bad mood? Like that's no fun. No, but like, he's I want so everyone good at to it. love each other and just enjoy life. I mean, know? easier said than he smokes a lot of weed but doesn't tell anybody, right? Or does edibles, something mushrooms. I don't know what he's do. Sam, you tell me. Hey, you tell me. I don't know if he's on steroids, if that does it, but he's a juice head. That's what he sounds like. I'm not saying he is. Saying he sounds like a juice head. You ever been around a juice head? That's what he sounds like. Done, but Joshy B, he's a pro at diffusing situations. All right, so basically we did a poll on Instagram. If you guys don't follow us there yet, are don't. you Don't. What good? are you doing? Yeah. Uh, we're living normal lives. We're not following a bunch of a-holes, peckerwood jackasses. That's what we're doing. You have three random plants. Nice backdrop. Um, and we're just going to rifle off a bunch of these you guys said about us. Well, not a good one. I don't know if we want to expose oh, this. But, which we have on podcast before. You waited till marriage. That is a great assumption. Why is that not a good one? And I feel like that's probably one of like five actually positive assumptions in here. Yeah. 
Um, however, I would have to let you down and say no. <laughs> nah, man, we were banging in the McLaren. We did not. We did not wait. But I do think. Obviously, look at them. Waiting until marriage is a really good thing. So if you're doing that, I would never. Are they Christian? I'm telling Jesus, you're in trouble. Or like one. I'm telling. Although. James. At least they're honest, because that's that's probably better for influencers not be. Oh, you should wait for marriage, and then kids are like rushing to get married. So, this is probably the better path. To be honest with you, I'm not kidding. And I, and I would never have said that five years ago. Never. I mean, I still want. I would love for my kids to wait, at minimum, until they're like fully in love and devoted, and like, you know, making a major commitment. Like, I still, I would love my kids to wait for marriage, but I'm not going to be like, you better. I'm going to be like, here's the best, safest way to do all this. But I did, but I wouldn't like I wouldn't be hateful. I would not stress out or be angry if my kids decided to do a path that's their own way, right? And again, that's me coming a long way in five years because I used to subscribe to this mentality that that's one of the most important things you can keep because the church built that into me. I want to do that. Oh, I actually yeah. think it's so cool. I personally think like it would have been if I hadn't of previously like not waited till marriage. I definitely think that that's something that I would have wanted to do. And what's actually weird is I feel like I even though like obviously you didn't wait till marriage either before me. I feel like Joshy B would have waited if I wanted him to. Why she call him Joshy B? Stop it. <sighs> Uh, it's your B. Like I just feel like it would have been hard, but I feel like you would have been, you would have been about it. Hundred percent. Also, Hundo, but you weren't. So stop saying shit. Why do they keep saying the thing and then literally in the next phrase, debunking the thing that they're saying? <laughs> I think waiting till marriage is really good, but I gotta be honest. So many people are always like, oh well, like we waited till marriage, like this and that, or like, like oh my god, this and that. They. But then they get married so fast. I think that's almost worse, in my opinion, to like. Agreed. Just get married just so you can have sex because, like. Well, yeah, that. that this is the smartest thing they've ever said and used their platform for. Brilliant. Thank God they had one thing of substance so far. It's a big it's the smallest commitment. part. Smallest part of a marriage. Like, obviously, it's yeah. very important. And Don't say that either. It could. It depends on the person. It might not be the smallest part of a marriage for a certain person. There's always a high driver, of course. There's always a low driver, but it, it could be a very important part to some people's relationship. So just, just stop there and just that's it. Just leave it there. Whatever is you is you. Don't just make shit up now. Actual intimacy is like very obviously important, but I think so many times important. Like, I know if you don't say the T in words, you can kiss my ass. Important. Why don't you just say the T? Important. It's important. Um, Christian couples will do this, and it's like I'm not saying that they're rushing, but sometimes I'm like, okay, I know you know. Like you could hang out with somebody like, every day for two months, and you still don't know. You don't like, know them. You, you haven't guys don't put really them know each other. I'm not saying don't wait till marriage, but I'm saying like don't just don't get rush. married because you want to have sex with somebody. If that's your overall goal, is to wait. don't forget, kids watch this. Everybody wait till marriage. Like a lot of teenagers watch this shit. That's because that's who they, this is entertaining to. Adult, there's no way adults really watch this. They're like, this is so interesting to me. Nobody, no way, no, 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 no mature adult watches this shit. Yeah, I would be like, yo, that that's a great goal, but like, you gotta stick it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too you, much. You gotta make sure. Your, These are like people get married two years ago, and they're like, let me give you all the advice on marriage. <laughs> okay, let me tell you. Everything. Shut up. Moving on. Y'all are having three kids. Great assumption. I would. I feel like three kids is just like the number. If I had to pick. Yeah, one. maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of, I'd rather have four, actually. I don't know. Well, dumb people are fertile, so you guys probably like five. Oh, I don't six. know, because that might be a lot. Like, we I mean, we gotta have a kid. These guys are selfish kid. twats, so I, I think two is gonna be their number. They're gonna realize, shit, man. What about us? That's what's gonna happen. Four kids might be like, holy crap. Um, Josh doesn't love Katie the same <gasps> since she's gotten pregnant. Big shout out to our sponsor, Rocket. You gonna put a sponsorship out in here? Get out of here! I that do is it. A lie, Olivia. <laughs> you are okay. So here's the thing. This is an assumption people are basing off watching your content. So clearly, you're showing something that has changed, and this is somebody who watches your shit probably religiously. So I wouldn't laugh it off too hard there, chuckle bum. Okay, likely they're seeing something that you can't even see. And that not that crazy that your fans know more about you and your body language, everything else? And her body language is saying the same shit here, by the way, just so you're aware. You are obviously a self-absorbed narcissist. Clearly. You drive a McLaren, muscles. All right? Clearly. So when someone has this assumption, it's probably based in some type of reality that they can see. 
So don't give me that bullshit, bruh. Lying through your teeth. No. I feel like, if anything, I love Katie even more. I doubt it. Yeah, I feel like you... Even in that outfit? Come on now. Then, like... Like... I mean, you're... I feel like you've I... been the same, or First if not of all, more, but... You I would choose like... this body frame... Oh, yeah? ...over any... I love the belly. The belly makes me so happy. Because I'm holding baby girl. You get to kiss ba- baby, baby girl. My baby girl is in there. Oh my God, this is so cringy and it hurts me. I am having a cringe attack. <sighs> okay. Yeah. You eat out almost every day. I w- yeah. would say yes. that is pretty much true. Because, like, say we eat, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the house. Like, we still go get, like, coffee somewhere. Or say yeah. we don't get coffee somewhere. We eat breakfast at home and make coffee at home. We probably grab lunch somewhere, eat dinner at home. It's but boring to eat every meal at home. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, it is. I But we like the... F- Eating? What? Food. So, like, we like having dinner at home, and we really do like making lunches, but a lot of times we're on the go. I don't even remember life before kids. I'm just realizing that now. It has been almost 11 years. I don't even remember... Did we make dinners and shit? I don't remember. (laughs) So like either we'll get meal preps um, when we don't eat out. But for me, I think what it is for me is like we're like totally like I have so much money. I think for me, it's like I just have money. And like why do I cook for myself? All right. I got the McLaren. I'm going to head out to Red Lobster. I got to get my like groove on, dude. You just want to get out. So it's like, I don't, like, say we were at home all day today. Like, yeah. we ate breakfast at home, ate lunch at home, and then it was, like, dinner time. I'd be like, all right, like, I want to get out of the house. Yeah, if like, I was I'm at... I'm not trying to eat dinner at home. Work all day long, and I came home, I think I would just want to cook dinner at home. Like, I'd rather just, like, be at home. Someone said, you're thinking of buying a vacation house in Michigan for when you guys go back to visit. That's actually... Um, possibly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why Michigan? Well, like, <laughs> Sorry for those who live in Michigan, but why? I'd say I, I am. You're trying to buy a vacation house now? This guy trying to get out of the marriage already? How? Oh, shit. No, no, like not this time when we travel back. But Oh, like, that's what I thought they meant. Like when, uh, obviously the baby will be born in September-ish. Yeah. Um, I would say for like next year to have a house to go back to in the summer. Would this be would sick. be my idea is like one, we talk, We kind of talked about this, is we definitely would want to get a lake house in Michigan to rent around for a couple of years until our you can kids at that point. Because like I would want to like make sure one, we have like a really good spot or unless. That's stupid logic. If you can afford to buy properties, you can wait till your kids are older. That's stupid. Buy it now. Kids are older. You can sell that shit, man. These people. Ska. Like the market goes down and we buy a house um, up on a lake. Up there would be cool. But we wouldn't move there. It would just be the summer. Oh, we'll just buy a cottage, but we don't show our money off. No, no, summer is yeah. We're not Ooh. moving back to Michigan. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I, I agree. Um, You guys are sat on names for... A name for the baby girl. That is a fact. That's true. Set in the vlog. It's going to be like Jalady or something like that or Flip Dapties and or Blue Doos and Skibidabu Flowery and Junie and Plainy Pinky. The other day, um, so we had to go back. Yeah, he it. started to say it. He said like the first letter and then he looked at me and he's like, and I was like, I- keep that shit close to your chest in case someone steals the name. Right, okay, so there's another name similar to your child out there. Get out of here. They're doing that because they want to hold that to like name of our baby because they're gonna clickbait that shit and they're gonna capitalize on it. That is all these people care about is capitalizing on shit. Oh, I don't like these people. I looked at him and then we deleted the clip. I know. I'm gonna eventually. I feel like it's gonna come out. Hopefully. No, hopefully not, gosh, don't say that. I know. You have I to know. be better. Because it's not. I'm not gonna let it Give this shit. Go. Oh. Be good. I did tell someone the other day the name. Who? Your mom. I did. What? It's that face for? Who'd you tell? <laughs> it was for a good reason, though. It's for a push present. And she, I have her word that she wants to stop. Stop this push present bullshit. Say anything. Okay, don't say who it is. I won't. You don't even know who it is. It's your sister, your mom, or some shit. Don't be so dumb. Dumbass. You guys are really rich and great people. Um... Depends how you define rich. Rich in- You drive a McLaren, Jack Wagon, you're rich. In life? I'd say we are and wealthy happiness? because yes. we are healthy. We have a great Health relationship. We have a great family. We have tons of fucking money. And um, 
I really, I don't know. Why are they so scared talking about the money, but not like the McLaren and the Helms are going to buy and shit? What? That's I, so weird. I guess someone, you could say, someone could say we're rich, but like that, I don't ever view it like that. We put a lot oh of our Oh, God. Spare me. Spare me. Money into investment. So like when we look at our bank account, it doesn't feel like we're rich. No, because also like uh, we invest. You drive a McLaren. Our money. We spend a lot and, like, of money rich on like companies such a, and stuff. Rich is just. You just buy companies? Okay. Uh, really? What I'm looking for. It's so like different to each person. Like someone could say, "Oh, you have to have this amount of money to be rich," or "Oh, if you have this amount of money, you're to rich." To me, I feel like rich I think rich is a money. feeling in life. Yeah, no, it's not. It's money. Shut up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not like even, it's not even money. Yes, it is. I'd rather. That's the question, asshole. I'd rather have. Look at the context of the question, not what you think the question is. But a great family and friends, and have a ton of money, and like just have people support me. Someone said Joshua B is going to spoil the baby so effing much, and I feel like not with that haircut, you're not. Yes. I feel like yeah, but I don't know because you don't totally spoil Topper. Like you're a little more strict on Topper. Someone said y'all secretly knew that Katie B was pregnant during the pregnancy prank video, which was filmed in Michigan. That's actually, actually coincidentally so funny. enough, Katie didn't even know she was pregnant. So that actually is super crazy. Okay, wait. So, so crazy. Gonna... Katie is the boss in the marriage. Look at his legs. Thoughts? No. Shut up. Shut up. Look what you're wearing. I would say no. Why are you wear no socks with it? I think we make a lot of decisions together, but I would say like I think you make more decisions. At the end of the day, I would definitely say me. Yeah. I would just too. as far I but like who's to say like who's the boss? Like I don't It sounds what like bad when you what say makes that, but you the quote unquote boss? I don't like that word. Do you have to walk on eggshells around her? Are you afraid to say things, say certain things? If you're if you're not if you're afraid to be honest with her or vice versa, then it's kind of sometimes that's the way it goes. No, but I, I guess it's how you look at it. Like I'm the I'm the one that, in my opinion, when I'm doing these things, I don't say like, in my head I'm like I'm the boss. But you like, listen I to make me, decisions like, for our, our family that yeah I know are gonna like what buy a McLaren depreciating asset is that good for your family put us in a place to where we can be successful and but like every financially free but and afford like our family and the way we live like That's every what, boss the they I listen to the other leaders as well so like True. it's not josh controlling what we do it's me saying no i don't want to do this and then him listening be like yeah let's not that's called you're the boss <laughs> I think you make um you're going to <laughs> Sheesh. You're going to exploit your kid. I hate Define that. Define Yeah, yeah, you, I would hate that too if I was being told that I'm a child exploiter, right? But the truth is, you don't have to be a child exploiter, Katie. You're right. You could at this moment just capitalize on the pregnancy, do all that stuff, and as soon as that kid gets here, ghost. That kid doesn't exist on your platform. You don't have to tell the name. Nothing. You don't have to be a child exploiter. But JD, little Josh, and, and, and your girl Katie, okay? As soon as you do with the platform that you have, it is inescapable that you become absolute child exploiters. So suck it. I don't care what you say. Oi. I think I think exploit is like in their eyes is like using your kid for money and views. Or like Yeah. It's exactly what it is! making your kid do stuff also what it is or yeah yeah i, yep. I would never make my kid like do something that i know we've already said this media. oh my god there's page 355 of the family vlogging manual the almanac if you will i would never make my kid get on video your kid's gonna be birthed on youtube lady how can they tell you they don't want to? Your kid's going to be in diapers on the internet, likely naked, a bunch of times. You're going to be going to Disney with your kid. They're going to be showing everything about your child because it's all you're going to have. So stop saying, I would never force my kid. When the child can't do anything, you are forcing the kid to do that because they literally are super, they are literally 100% reliant on on you as its caretaker you asshole yeah. a million times but i'm gonna say it again i have so many friends on social media that a aren't influencers b um don't make any money off of social media and they post a shit ton of pictures of their babies 
okay, so you, now you're going to get to the conclusion of this, right? That, but we are influencers and we do make money off social media. So we will be exploiting our children. We're not talking about those people. This isn't deflection period. Okay. We're not talking about people who don't make money off their kids. Although you should be very careful with the kids on social media. Let's be real. We're talking about those who use their kids in content, which will be you. What the hell are you saying? My sister does all the time. They post a shit ton of content of their kids. So what? Yeah. But no one would ever be like, oh, you're exploiting your kid for views. That's because they don't rely on their children to be their cash. They don't rely on their family, their life, their co to be content, which then makes them money. You're comparing apples to fucking bicycles. It's not the same thing. Also, they should probably be careful. But you're not, why are you deflect? This is the worst deflection I've ever heard. My sister puts her kids on YouTube, doesn't make any money. Okay, asshole, but you will. You idiot. Oh my God, I get so upset. Like, did you think that was going to fly? But how come when like you do social media and like the thing is for me, when we, when we got engaged, we posted about it. That's what our- Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Content was around. Yeah. We were yep. now engaged. We were so happy yeah. about it. Our yeah. content revolved around engagement. Because that's what went viral for you. Made money on it. And you're admitting it. Before that, it was about our relationship. That's what we loved. That's what we were doing. Yep. Yep. And when we got married, our content revolved around our marriage. Okay. When I fight, our content revolves around the fight. Yeah. Now she's you lost. Pregnant. Right. Now the content's revolving around her being pregnant. That's okay, this is where you stop, though. Okay, this is where it changes then. Because we can have this argument all day long. Well, this is our life, and we have to film, and that's how we make money. Okay. I get that. And even up to the point of pregnancy, fine, do the pregnancy. Cool. But it all changes... When a new person, you know, when player three enters the game into your world, it all changes because that kid now cannot give you informed consent to put its privacy, its tantrums, its ass, its belly, its naked body, it, everything, the fakery, the forced content, the forced reactions. It cannot give you consent to do that. Needless to say, there are hundreds of thousands of predators on the Internet AI technology and the emergence of it is so dangerous for kids, specifically kids with fan bases. Okay? It changes everything. Context matters here. If your child is going to be bringing you in money, because that's what you do, you are now exploiting a child against its informed consent to do that. It is not illegal for you to do that. Okay? It is your prerogative. It is your choice to do it. But it is the wrong choice and it is immoral and it is selfish because that person, although it is relying on you for most of its life until it can get out on its own, that will still be a person which everything you put online was against that person's consent. Do you get it now? How else do you need this to be told to you? What we love, that's our everyday, like you know check-ins like yeah katie's pregnant how many weeks is it you know like that's things we don't we, care we talk Shit. about so we share that's not what we're talking about bro with you guys so it's yeah just... when we have a kid we're probably gonna share the baby with you guys. of course you are because you're greedy bastards because you're selfish greedy bastards that's why because you know the issues there are so many family vloggers that you could even talk to who you don't have to talk to me. You don't have to take my word for it. Go speak to a bunch of the ones who have learned their lesson. Go talk to them. Okay. There are so many out there. Go talk to the kids of family vloggers who are calling it out right now. Go talk to a fucking therapist. Go talk to anybody in this industry. Kids who grew up in this industry have completely collapsed. They have shitty lives because of it. It's very rare. You're going to find someone who didn't have a shitty life because of it. So go talk to those people. You know the dangers of what you're doing. And when you decide, after knowing all this, and you have had the questions, you've had the conversation clearly, and you decide to go against all of the rest of the world, and the world knows what you do is wrong. There's not very many people that could ever stand on a platform and be like, this is why this is right. Why would they, why would they then be making laws against this shit? Okay. In Germany, in U.S., and Canada, laws are being made everywhere. If it was fine and ticky-boo and it was just like a misunderstanding, there wouldn't have to be laws put in place for this. Ava Madjuri, perfect example, almost died at the hands of one of her stalkers. There have been YouTube and TikTok teenagers who have died, who've been stalked. 
Okay? What you're doing is fucking dangerous. Coming into the world of AI right now, too, if you look at all these Pokemon and all these other female influencers out there who are having pornography made of their likeness without their consent, that is a real concern. And that is going to happen to a lot of these famous kids who never chose that path. So I don't know what you're trying to justify here, but you just made it worse. And you are dumb for saying anything you just said. You are so bad. And if you do decide to exploit your children every single day, know that you are selfish bastards who put money and fame and clout over your child's safety and future every single time you do it. There is no way around it. There's no argument to me to be made against it. Nobody can because I'm right. Everybody who watches the show is we're right. And you damn well know it. Hi, and what's crazy, real quick, if we didn't share the baby with you guys, I feel like everyone would be mad. And that doesn't bother you a little bit? That strangers on the f***ing internet will be mad at you if you don't show your child to them. You don't think that's a little weird to say that out of your mouth? You don't find that really bad? Who the f***? Who are these people, man? Holy shit, I've never heard that one before. Yeah, well, they do. But then there's the people that say that, so it's confusing. The thing is, is you it's not, there's no confusion here. Little J man or whatever your name is. There is no confusion here. It has never been more clear, ever, since the internet's conception, that exploiting children without their consent is wrong. There is nobody that has ever come up with a coherent argument or debate at all, not even close, that will ever just skim the surface of making this okay. It is not okay. You can never win with people like that because at the end of the day, I True. know people think that they're all- You know why you can't- In the right or they would never do because they're above it. Above exploiting children? Are you admitting that you're not above exploiting children? What the you know, it's not even worth arguing these people who have this freaking ironclad argument against the exploitation of children. You're right. It's not worth arguing. So don't do it because you're wrong. It's not worth arguing. off. It's not worth protecting your kid is what you're telling me. It's not worth protecting your children against predators on the internet, right? You guys have a million plus or three millions. I don't know. How, they have millions of subscribers. Okay. And in that pool of people are going to be some weird ass freaking people who can't wait to see your baby. Okay. And your content will explode because of it. And they'll save weird videos that you put out there. It's not worth arguing because you have no argument. That's an argument of somebody who has no argument. You just want to deflect. Oh, you assholes. Or they're above like certain things. And I am all... Yes. People who are above exploiting their children are better than you. They're better than you. We're better than you. We are better people. We have moral standing you don't have. You are a shitty ass parent if you exploit your children. You should not have children if you're going to exploit them on the internet. I said it. I don't care. You don't deserve to be parents. If what you're going to do with your child is any of that shit, you don't deserve it. There's so many people out there who can't have children who just want to be parents, who want to love kids and give them normal childhoods and bring them up and be contrib contributing members of society. Whereas you people have fucking kids for accessories. They're not purses. They're not shoes. They're not McLarens. Okay. They're human fucking beings who will grow up someday. And what you put out there about them matters for protecting like the baby's safety and things like i think that there's certain things that should and shouldn't be posted about kids just because obviously right. there is child predators out there there's we and you're admitting it right now so you're like well there's child predators so i'm going to be really careful with my content are you no you're not it doesn't matter if you're careful with the content predators find a way so she's like, well, I'm not going to show the bath time nudie stuff, but I'll do all the other shit. Weirdos out there. Sometimes it is really hard, though, to think that there's people like that, because when you have such an innocent and like good intention with things, um, you do have to be careful. So I'm not I'm not. No, you're naive, which is fine. No, it's not. Not when you're having kids. She's like, well, it's hard to say that there, there are predators and you admit the predators. You know, there's predators. You know, this shit exists. There's a whole underground freaking world of this shit. OK, Chris Hansen doesn't exist unless there's people like you out there. OK. Who put their kids on the internet for strangers so don't uh, i cannot believe the argument that they're creating right now this is actually the worst one i've ever heard and that's saying something man we had mike Stoffer. being completely naive to say that like we won't there won't be certain things we don't post or things like that but also this is something i've i've also learned is i've seen some people be like i would never let um put i would never put my kid out there and like uh, why are you saying with all this attitude and why are you doing it like that 
um, identify their personality on social media like because what if they're older and they don't want to see that or what if they're older and they don't like blah 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 they don't why are you feel that way that's a leg- that's the valid question here everybody why is she just throwing that away like oh, what if they don't want exactly no that's the question what if they didn't want their uh, their diapered ass all over the internet what if they didn't want their nudity on the internet what if they didn't want their 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 parents acting a fool on the internet while they're around what if they didn't want it what if they say something when they're young and they don't want that out there what if something they do goes massively viral but embarrasses them later you don't that is the most valid point here. And you're like, blah, blah, blah. Like, like, you know, those people are like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, to me personally, and this is my choice because it's my kid and I'm the mom and you're the dad, is that I would rather teach my kid to not be embarrassed of things that was in the past and to look at it and laugh. Didn't and- they say this last time? I'm going to teach my kid not to be embarrassed. Good luck with that, asshole. Have you ever seen a kid ever once? You can't just be like, don't, you can't look at your child. This is why these people are not ready to be parents, okay? I'm sorry. This is a lesson that they have not learned yet. You cannot dictate how your child is going to react to certain situations. You're not going to be like, hey, I'm going to teach you from birth. Don't ever be embarrassed by anything, okay? Okay, cool. Yeah. (laughs) F off. Then the only reason you're saying it is because you know you're going to be putting embarrassing shit about your kids out there and you're going to want to preemptively say, well, I told them not to be embarrassed. <laughs> so it's their fault. What are you saying right now? Who are, uh, holy shit, man. Don't have kids. You didn't like it, then you laugh about it. It's like I have ugly pictures of me with my hair cut off and it's embarrassing. Why would that bother like, anybody? It, I don't but know. some people get embarrassed. Yes. By- because it does. Go read Jeanette McCurdy's book. Go look at any of the AMAs on Reddit from these family vlogger kids who have to go on there privately, anonymously, to get it off their chest. Go read any of them. Watch any of my videos on that shit. You guys are just throwing it away like, why would anybody even care if you had embarrassing moments on the internet? Because some people do, man. You guys are not ready to be parents. You are selfish, greedy bastards. But I would rather, I feel like my parents taught me to not take life so seriously and things like that. And it's like, okay, yeah, there's little pictures where I look like a little... Yeah, but there's pictures of you when you're little. Are they posted all over the social media? Are there videos with millions of views with you on them? Is there that? Did your parents have millions of subscribers? A little bit different there, pink bathing suit. A little bit different. Oh boy, because I cut off all my hair. I think it's funny. It's a story. It's part of my yeah, life. Yeah, now it'd be different if they're like inappropriate pictures. Yeah, I would never like, take Obviously, that de-post. would be different. But Again, and you know this now, and if you're watching this because you are, listen here, little Jay. AI exists now, and it's changing everything. If someone wants a photo, if someone wants a video of your child to do whatever they want, AI makes that now possible for predators to do that. Soon as you put your child on the internet, there is no going back. There is no going back. Uh, yeah. yeah. Times have changed. Even since the time I've started talking about family vlogging, in the past year, times have changed. Everything is worse. And it's all detrimental to children. All of it. None of it benefits kids. I mean, that's like the... Yeah, but, we're but, not doing that. But so. to me, it's like, even if the kids said something that was like silly and embarrassing, but like funny, like little kids say the stupidest thing all the time. Then I would teach them that it's funny to look back on things like that rather than be embarrassed of themselves. You don't get to dictate that, dickhead. You don't get to just be like, oh, it's funny. And then it went viral in the moment. Yeah, who cares? It doesn't mean that they won't be embarrassed by it. It doesn't mean they won't be bullied by it, by their enemies. It doesn't mean that. It means they likely will. And they will have ammo that you gave them. How? I just... Holy shit, man. What is going on in these people's heads? I'll just be like, don't be embarrassed. It's like that, that OnlyFans moment. When I have kids and I'm an OnlyFans porn star, you know, they can cry in a Ferrari. That's crying in a Ferrari language right there. She just said, you can cry in a McLaren. You can go get yourself f***ed. But to like be proud and like funny and like, I don't know, just laugh about it. I mean, I look back at my yeah, own... Don't be embarrassed, just laugh about it. That's, that's going to go real well with your kids. These people are absolutely, just go talk to your parents or something. Tell them what you just said right there. Go ask them some advice. Go ask anybody who has kids advice. Don't do that. If I put something out there and embarrass my kid, I'm going to be like, don't be embarrassed. Oh, oh, problem solved. Okay, no, no, no worries. I do videos right now and I'm like, okay, that is so cringy and so embarrassing. But instead of privating them all, I keep them up there because I think it's cool to see how far you've come or to look at, look back. Cool deflection. I can like laugh at yourself sometimes. You're an adult though, and you can give consent to that. 
You see the difference now? The child can't. Oh my God. So 100%. if that's the case, then I'd rather teach them that. But I think there are things that come with like privacy and um, just... No, you don't. Obviously weirdos out there that you have to protect them from yeah you admit yeah, it's so funny that they will literally admit on this channel in this video that there are predators out there doing crazy shit they are admitting it with their mouths and in the second sentence they're like but we're gonna still put our kids out there holy shit you can't make this up we will and see. i don't i don't ever i don't want, think we're gonna be like exploiting our kids we don't in need any to. way as far exactly you don't need to so don't don't do it Prove everybody wrong. You don't need to. So don't. Again, once you open Pandora's box, you're not, it's open. That shit's open forever. There are people waiting for you to post pictures of your toddler and your baby. Just waiting to take it. You absolute monsters. Are as like... And I never would. I don't even know what they mean by that. Like... I, I really don't even know. I don't like know. Making like, our kid do something for the camera. Or, you will be doing that. You absolutely will be doing that. Or. Yeah. You don't think you're going to do that? Okay. We're different than the, all the other ones. Like forcing them to be in it. Like if our kid was like literally pushing the phone away, like they didn't want to be recorded or something. Like, I don't, I don't even know. Holy shit. That's really, that's when you'll take the phone away when they're pushing the phone away. That's the only time you're going to do it. How is a baby going to do that? How's a toddler? Until three, four, five. Even those kids are going to be like, like, so what, you're going to wait five years, then we'll decide when they're 18? Too late, buddy! I don't know, because I, I, I always see, like, little so. kids' content, and I think it's so cute, too. So, like, I'm like, I don't... 100%. I always... Hundo, hundo P, bruh. Hundo P. So we can justify exploiting our child, because there's other ones who do it. Hundo P. I just have, like, a good mindset on it to where I'm like, it seems harmless, and... Let me talk to you here for a second, Katie. I have a good mindset on this. Do you? If you had a good mindset, a mindset of a mother who is protective of their child, a good mother, let's be real. If you had the mindset of a person who was normal, you would not exploit your kids. But you don't have that mindset. You already are justifying exploiting your child. You already are a shit mother. Sorry. That's you. That's on you. I think, yeah, you have to be careful of certain things and certain things kids can do. But also, I think people just are a little dramatic about it. Um, yeah, are we dramatic about it? Are we dramatic about was Ava was Ava Madjuri dramatic about when her door got blown off by a guy with a shotgun? Are those parents who got, took their kids off the internet dramatic when they found the kids on CP sites? Are they dramatic? Just being dramatic? Oh, just dramatic. What about the kids that are coming out now and talking about how shit life was and that they're going to go no contact with their parents? They have to go through massive amounts of therapy. Are they just being over dramatic, right? Kids who are, who, are, who are whose images are being stolen and our parents are being blackmailed with AI technology. Are they just being over dramatic? Go f yourself. Um, but obviously, kid safety is very important to us. So obviously, it's definitely that's definitely an obvious thing that we're seeing here. Um, he Why would you say the thing after just saying the thing that's not so obvious? You know, we're going to do all this, but obviously it's safety first. No, it's not. This one, you guys don't want to live in Arizona forever. That's AF a off. Uh, it's actually quite telling. I'm just on their video right here. And it's pretty telling that they have 13,000 views as of is today. This video came out yesterday, which isn't a lot of views, by the way. They only have 36 comments. They'd be deleting shit because they know they're wrong. You're going to have more than one kid. I would say absolutely. Yeah. Um, God willing. Katie's sister does not like Josh. Solidarity, Katie's sister. I don't think Biz likes me anymore. Yeah? I swear. Really? How old's her sister? Five? Yeah. Shut up. I look at him. Not kidding. Why? Because I always beat her in pickleball. Like, I, I don't <laughs> think she can handle the defeat. Oh, uh, no, I'm just kidding. But we play pickleball. No, both of my sisters love Josh. My Jasmine's my sister. Your sister. Um, but yeah, I yeah. think they like... Okay, F off. That's done. So I really, I'm glad they, got, they finally got to that question because that's one of the most important questions and they absolutely, completely, and utterly failed on the answer of that question. Never in my life have I seen such selfish people who try to justify exploiting children and are like, yeah, this, this will make sense to everybody, right? <laughs> Holy shit, man! Get wrecked, assholes! I am now going to snorkel and shit out of your shit. If J JD, little Josh, and your girl Katie, 
Okay? If you guys decide not to explore your kid, if you have a change of heart when shit hits the fan and everything's, you know, you have your baby and you're like, yeah, we're not going to do this. I challenge you to not put your baby on the internet for 30 days after the birth. Don't, don't talk about the birth. Don't show it. You can say the baby's here, but we're not showing it. 30 days. Okay? And if you have fans that are mad at you for that, you can give this to your fans. Don't ever say the thing, I think our fans would be upset if we don't show them our baby. Do you not see how bad that is and how bad that sounds? Are you really this crazy? Protect. This guy's a fighter. He's a trained fighter, loves to fight. He's a trained protector. Okay? And yet they refuse to protect their children from predations of the internet. From predators making content, stalkers, pedos, plutos, chomos, and they're just going to feed them up on a silver platter. And the justification was, well, they'll not be embarrassed. I'll tell them not to be. Damn, man. I hope you're watching this. Get wrecked, assholes. You're terrible. You should go speak to your parents because they clearly failed you. Maybe they can double down here and help you out and say, don't do that shit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Look, I get you want to flex over everybody else. I know you have beef with Della Vlogs. The fact that they can't have babies is probably like, you probably revel in the fact that you're pregnant and that they can't have babies. Okay, it's probably a big flex for you, and it's probably a big part of the fight drama, and you're all good. You don't have to show the baby. You want to be better? Do you want to be better? You want to show that you're better than these people? Then don't exploit your fucking kids on the internet. Protect your kids. I don't know what else to say. Take a deep breath. Damn, these assholes can kiss my whole ass. That bathing suit thing. Guys, we do these videos often. Well, not very snarky, but I got upset today because I just cannot believe that this message isn't getting through to these people. But I, I do believe that it is getting through. They just literally don't care. That's the problem here. They literally just see dollar signs and fame and don't care that their kids aren't going to be protected. That's got to say something. It's got to mean something. But you care, and that's why you're here, and I thank you so much for being here and being a part of this great conversation that we're having. And reach out to them in a comment and just say, guys, love your stuff. Please don't exploit your kid. Please don't. You don't have to. You guys grew a big platform without it. Don't exploit your kid. Encourage them. I'm not saying send hate. Don't ever send hate. But maybe we can send encouragement. Maybe that's a plan. I'm not going to send encouragement because they can kiss my ass. But maybe their fans who watch it can be like, look, we want what's best for your awesome family that we love. Please don't exploit your kids. I don't need to see them. We shouldn't need to see them. Maybe one picture or something. Maybe. Maybe one vlog like, yeah, yeah. When it's a newborn because it'll change. But that's it. Encourage the people that you love and seem to fan over to not exploit their kids because those kids aren't going to thank you later. Those kids are going to hate everybody who was a part of this because they didn't get a say in it. That's what's going to happen. So encourage these people to not exploit their kids. Maybe that's the answer. I don't know. I'm running out of ideas. But you're not running out of ideas. You're amazing, incredible, damn valuable. So cute. And I will see you tomorrow.